It's the beginning of triathlon season. Today I'm sharing with you the six really big tips I've got for you on race day. What's up everyone, Justin here. Today I wanna to talk to you about the six really big important things that I wish I had known. This is all stuff focused on race day itself and how to make it more enjoyable and successful. Let's just go ahead and dive into number six, and that is practice your transition. So you may have seen in videos that I've done in the past that I always recommend laying out your gear and taking a photo of it before race day. You've got a photo and you can see what you've packed and what's in your bag. Mentally go through your transition. Imagine yourself running out of the swim and running up to your laid out gear. Think about what you're gonna put on, what you're gonna take off, where you're gonna set it, and what you're gonna grab. You've got your photo, so lay all your stuff out in your transition area on your towel just like that photo you know that it's a system that works for you not only are you going to be a little bit faster but you're going to be a lot more comfortable which is really important the number five tip is arrive early and make a plan. Give yourself a lot of time to get to the race, get your bike in the rack, get your gear all laid out, practice swim or a practice warm up run. It all takes longer than you think and you don't want to be panicked, freaking out, wondering if you have enough time before race start. Really important thing to remember here is figure out where your gear is in the transition area from the perspective of the swim. The big thing that I do now is I count the number of racks in that my bike is from the perspective of coming out of the water and then I can say bam I'm six racks in on the right and then I can always find my gear. The number four tip refers to the swim and that is don't panic, swim slowly, and swim your pace. If your race is open water, you can position yourself in the back and then to the left or to the right depending on what that first turn is. So if the first turn is going to be to a right, you can put yourself in the back left and you're not going to have the traffic jam, you're going to be further away from people so you're not running into people. You can also give yourself a 5 or a 10 count, so when the gun goes off, count to 5. It's going to feel like an eternity but it's just enough to let those really fast aggressive swimmers get off the beach. It's really really easy to swim too fast. You're going to be swimming next to people who are way better than you and especially if you've only swam in a pool. Now if you're swimming open water you don't have those visual cues. My first race I swam way way too hard and the reality is I was swimming way faster than I was capable of because I didn't know how far I was going. Don't worry if it doesn't feel like you're going anywhere. Swim your pace, most importantly. You'll get through the swim and you'll get onto the bike and your race will be great. Number three tip relates to the bike and that is bike right. And that means the right gearing on the bike, the right position on the bike, and the right nutrition on the bike. The right gearing starts before you even get on your bike. When you put your bike into transition, make sure your bike is left in a gear that when you hop on and pedal, you can pedal at. Try this out at home, figure out what works for you, and then do that on race day. Second most important thing on the bike is the right position. You want to get yourself into as arrow of a position as possible. That means as low and as narrow. So keeping your elbows in, your chest bent over down and look up with your eyes. Make yourself as small as possible to the wind so that you can get a little bit of free speed. The difference between someone who's sitting right up and bent over in a super arrow position can be as much as one or two miles an hour and that really adds up. So getting as arrow as possible is going to allow you to get fast without any additional fitness. And then lastly, right nutrition. So if you plan on eating during your race, the bike is almost always where you're gonna do it. You obviously can't eat during the swim. If you're doing something like a sprint, which is a 20 to 35 minute run for most people, you're not really gonna have the time for anything you intake to actually get into your system and make a difference. The bike is where you're gonna wanna do it for the majority of races, like a sprint or an Olympic. For nutrition, I really like to use Tailwind. It's a powder that mixes in my water bottle, it provides me both hydration and nutrition. I don't need to deal with gels, opening them or anything like that. And then that's gonna hit and act Actually provide energy right about the time I'm beginning my run which is where I want it. The number two tip is the run is going to hurt. Trust that you're moving and you will get through it. If you're watching this ahead of time I highly 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 recommend doing some brick workouts and that's where you go for a bike ride and then go for a run. My first triathlon I had definitely not done enough brick workouts and when I got off that bike and went to run I was in for a surprise because my legs barely worked and that's not a good feeling so you just have to do those workouts ahead of time. Big tip that I've got here is it's gonna hurt no matter what, but a really fast foot turn 
turnover with a lot of light steps is going to help you out here. Keeping your feet turning over, fast foot cadence, light foot steps, just keep moving. If you've got a GPS watch, now's the time to look at it. If you don't have a GPS watch, trust that you are moving. Get through that first mile, you're going to feel it a lot better. The number one tip that I've got for all triathletes of all experience levels is just relax, enjoy it, and take it all in. And I don't mean that just in terms of relax and enjoy yourself. I honestly think that relaxing is going to make you a better athlete. It's literally just going for a swim, which you know how to do, going for a bike, which basically everyone knows how to do, and going for a run, we can all pretty much do. So we might not be that fast at it, and we might not have a ton of experience at it, and we might not be that great at any one of those things. But fundamentally, going for a swim and going for a bike and then going for a short run is nothing too intimidating. Break it down, focus on your strength, train your weaknesses, and remember that fundamentally it's not that scary. Your first triathlon is never going to be that fast. You're always going to have things to learn. Take it all in, relax, enjoy it, go for your swim, your bike, and your run, and just have fun. It's a fantastic sport. If you have any questions for me in particular, feel free to leave them down below. And then if you're looking for more reviews and training tips and racing vlogs, I hope you subscribe. There's a ton of that content as well. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. Go do some awesome training and racing of your own. See ya.